next battle. You're Yule, aren't you? Yes. I am one of many Yules. From your perspective, I am a Yule from the ancient past. But... where are we? Are we trapped in this place? I am not truly here. I only watch events from a distant time. This place, it is a shadow of Valhalla. In the depths of the Unseen Realm, I see you held prisoner. Is this a trap someone left for me? Has someone locked me in here on purpose? Yes. The broken key was your undoing. And your betrayer is one known to you. You heard her voice. I am sure of it. Are you saying... I can't ever leave? If you do not escape, the dream will go on forever. Wait, don't go! You're a different Yule, aren't you? Yes. You have not met me yet. I call your present age my home. You and I are the same. We are blessed by Etro, her chosen servants. Servants of the Goddess? The power to step outside the timeline. The power to witness the future. These gifts come from Etro. Her servants are known by her blessings. My sister is also somewhere in Valhalla. What's her part in all this? The warrior. She stands guard over Etro's temple. She is unable to leave the Unseen Realm. And so, she turned to you for aid. I suppose you're another Yule as well. Yes. I am from a future you have never known. Very soon, my presence here will fade. There is little time to tell you of the things I have seen. Once upon a time, there were six and one Lassie, and their story is a miracle. The destinies of the six were bound, bound through the completion of a focus that belonged to the one. The six? That was lightning and snow and the others. And the one, that would be me? The goddess Etro saw that the Lassie fulfilled their tasks. She saw their courage and took pity on them. She blessed the six and the one, and one other, a child. And so she released them from the prison of Crystal. You mean it was the goddess who saved us that day? Yes, but in doing so, she warped time itself. Etra was fading away, and she could not restore it. But perhaps you had the power to repair the distortion, and perhaps you did. Perhaps I did? What do you mean? Is it too late now? The future? I can no longer see it. You're Yule too. Which era do you come from? I am the one who lives in all the ages. I am the one who dies in all the ages. I am the one who suffers countless partings again and again. Have you come to tell me something? You summoned me here. In this place, you can see all your heart's desires come true. I don't understand. Look. This is the place where all time flows. The dreams of humanity are here washed ashore. A world without beginning or end. A world closed upon itself. 
Why do you want to change time? Why do you try to stand in his way? Why do you continue on this journey? As you change the timeline, you come closer to death. How? But now. Your journey is over. I don't understand. You don't need to. To live is without Get meaning. Him. You fight bravely. Noel gave up much more quickly than this. He is living in a time and place where he knows only joy. He acknowledged his defeat. Now he is at peace. No, I don't believe you. No one would never give in to you. of miracles, traveler of time guided by Etro, listen to me. Each time you fulfill a wish of your heart, someone else's dream is shattered. You conjure miracles, but when you do, the seeds of tragedy are sown in other lives. Are you prepared to bear that burden, that responsibility? Goddess Etro rescued you and your friends from your fate as the sea. For you, it was a miracle. For you, a sentence of death. In that moment, immutable history was transformed. Time was twisted. With each distortion of the future, the life of the Cirrus was cut short. So often have I seen this. See how wilt before my eyes. When time is in flux, the future changes, and you is consumed. So I will dam the river of time and tear down the foundations of history. Only then will your suffering come to an end. You're going to destroy history just so you can save you? Yes. You have interfered with my task at every time. But your meddling is over. I will slay the goddess and return everything to Valhalla. In a place without time or future, you will be free for eternity. now to your heart's desire. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Look at her. Asleep like a baby. Hey, let's all yell Sarah at once. Why don't you do it? <sighs> I'll get her up. Hey, Sarah! 
Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing sleeping out here? It is a really nice day for a nap, I've got to say. Where am I? <laughs> Not in your bed, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> you still dreaming? Maybe I am. Hey, let's go. <sighs> Come on, Sarah. Man, I'm hungry. What's for lunch, anyway? Didn't you just eat... You were sleeping like a baby out there. You sure do have it easy, Sarah. Well, I'm not happy. To be honest, I have no idea where I am or what's going on. Listen to me, Sarah. Staying happy is a heck of a lot harder than becoming happy, if you know what I mean. So don't ask me for advice, because I don't have any. Anyway, you better get a move on. You know who's waiting. You know who? Hey, there you are. Snow, what are you doing here? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not allowed to hang out in my own place? Uh, you. But, but you went looking for my sister. You left ages ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? Lightning hasn't gone anywhere that I know of. What? She's living right here with us ever since we got married, remember? <laughs> hey, you okay? <laughs> I don't no, understand. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Sarah, where are you going? Sarah! Everything's falling apart. still glinted like a razor. This wasn't real. It was a dream. If I accepted it, my journey through time would end. But... My sister was here. Snow was here. If I stayed, I would be with everyone I'd ever loved. This is what I'd been searching for. All this time. I'd found my home. I'd found happiness. I couldn't do it. When I had lost faith in the future, Noel came and gave me hope. Snow left his home and his friends. He traveled through time to save others. Hope worked feverishly to save Cocoon. And then... There was Vanille and Fang, trapped in crystal, holding Cocoon in the sky. I couldn't desert them to live in this world of dreams. I couldn't betray them. Lightning, I'm so sorry. No! Don't give up. Good question. Hmm. Put it this way. 
It's the real me, but inside a dream. <laughs> I'm still sleeping in the crystal pillar, you see. And you're dreaming away, too. So it's like we're meeting inside each other's heads. So this is a dream after all. But why did you come? Because you needed help. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, you've never met Fang before, have you? No. We've come to pull you out of this fantasy of yours. You're trapped in a dream that never ends somewhere in the void beyond. If we don't help, you'll never wake up. And that, my girl, is why we're here. Thank you. We're just showing you a way out. You're the one who made the decision to wake up and leave this world. If you hadn't rejected the fake lightning, we would never have been able to reach you, and you'd still be stuck in your dream. Right. I almost believed her. The fake lightning, I mean. But then I remembered my sister is fighting in Valhalla. Snow and Hope, they're fighting their own battles as well. Out of all of us, I was the only one who was running away from the truth. That's all right, because now it's your turn to help someone. You're not the only one who's trapped in a dream they can't wake up from. You mean Noel? You need to go and find him. I reckon you can save him, Sarah. <gasps> Fang? Vanille? Guess our time's up, huh? Yes. We have to go back now. See you around. Bye. No, I'll save you. Okay, it's time to find Noel. Guess what, Lightning? I met Vanille again. She saved me once three years ago, and today she came to help me. I owe her my life twice now. And I met Fang for the first time, too. We only talked a while, but she kind of reminded me of you. Even though they're still trapped in crystal, they reached out to me, showed me a way out of my dream. One day, I'm going to pay them back, I promise. I wonder what kind of dream Noel is living in. Whatever it is, I'm going to wake him out of it. And together, we'll find you, Lightning. Lightning, I've come a long way, and it's all thanks to Noel. That's why when I reach Valhalla, I want him with me. So here I am, inside the memory of a lost future. I've come to lead Noel away from this cold, distant world. This one put up a tough fight. Hunting alone is harder than it looks. No! <sighs> but this should do it for the birthday feast. Anything. No problems. Too easy, in fact. I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are ready to become the one true guardian. Why does there have to be one true guardian? I don't get why I have to replace you. Because, Noel, that is the way. You are ready to challenge me to a duel. If you defeat me, the sacred pact passes to you. Just as I once defeated my predecessor. Mm. What happened to him, anyway? I killed him. That is the law of the Guardians. There can only be one. Hmm. 
Noel, if you wish to succeed me, you must kill me. There's no way, Kais. I want to fight you, not kill you. You can't do this. I need more time before I can beat you. You can't just leave like that. I wanted to get stronger than Caius, so I began training with swords. I'd never beat him at his own style, so I went with two blades. If I didn't kill Caius, I couldn't become the next guardian. But there was no way I was following some musty old rule like that. Problem was, I wanted the power of chaos that all guardians were given. Caius Ballad, I wanted to stand at your side and help protect you. But you, Caius, you left before I had the chance. Hey, I'm back. Hi, Noel. How was the hunt? Oh, I bagged a huge one. I wanted something special for tonight. You mean for my birthday? So you remembered. How could I forget? Tonight's feast will be the best yet. Although, I wish we could have more people, like in the old days. Maybe a party with just three people will be kind of depressing. <sighs> no, it won't. It'll be lots of fun. As long as you and Caius come, it'll be great. Well, okay if you say so. was nothing but a disappointment. In the end, I couldn't save you. I couldn't accept her fate, or forgive Caius for leaving. But more than that, what I truly couldn't forgive was myself and my own helplessness. I can hear well, are you ready to kill me? No, I'm not. Today's Yule's birthday, Caius. It's not the time for this. Look, I will fight you, but not to the death. And not until tomorrow. After I win, I'll receive the power of the Guardian. Then we can leave this place and protect Yule together. Leave and go where? To wherever other people are living, of course. I know. I know there are more people out there somewhere. If we find them, Yule won't have to feel so lonely anymore. She'll feel happy again. That is a vain hope, and you of all people should know it. <sighs> but there must be something we could do. There is one thing. <sighs> Kill me. Not this again. The Heart of Chaos. Beats in my chest, a manifestation of Etro. Should this heart stop beating, the goddess will die once again. When the goddess dies, the chaos of Valhalla is unleashed. The chaos has the power to warp the timeline and destroy the past. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't care how many times you ask, I'm not killing you. If you cannot, you must die instead. <laughs> to live is without meaning. It's as I feared. You are too weak. I don't understand you, Caius. This talk of killing you and destroying the past. Do you think any of that will make Yule happy? Do you really? I don't want to please her. I want to save her. Where are you going? You're going to leave us just like that? 
I shall go to Valhalla. I will kill the goddess and set you free. <sighs> and that's how Caius came to abandon us and made Yule and I the last two humans left in the world. It happened not long after Caius left us. It came so soon, in fact, it was over before I knew what was happening. Hey, Yule, are you okay? No. no. It's strange. I knew all along this day was coming, but I'm still not ready to say goodbye. I wish we could stay together. I'll miss you now. You don't have to cry. We will meet again. learn the truth about the Farseers and the fate of their Seeress. Each time a Seeress sees a vision of the future, she loses a piece of her life. She dies while she is still young. That is the price to be paid for Etro's gift. I didn't know any of this. Caius chose to keep the secret from me. I couldn't forgive him for that. He knew all along what Yule's fate would be. Uh. No. Uh. I left on my journey. I thought that if I could become Etro's chosen warrior, like Caius, then I'd have the power I would need to change Yule's fate. So I set my sights on Valhalla, the home of the goddess. As I searched for Valhalla, I realized something. If it brought Yule the happiness she deserved, I didn't care what happened to me. If I died, so be it. Maybe somewhere deep down, below the layers of numbing pain, I wanted to fade away from this world completely. Ranks of obsidian mountains pierced the heavens. Bone-white deserts choked the world with sand. No matter how far I walked, I saw no one. No matter how long I waited, the gate of the goddess didn't open. Etro. I could no longer walk. The cold was seeping into my body. My heart beat slower, and for the first time I felt the hand of death reach out for me. I knew it was coming, and I didn't resist. from mine. We have to stick together, Noel. I've got no one else I can count on but you. We have the same hope, the same road to travel. We will change the future! Let's go, Noel. It's time to change the future. I can't. What? Listen to me, Sarah. The dream I've been having reminded me of something. <laughs> the power to see the future, it's a curse. But... Yul died when she was only 15. Seeing the timeline exacts a terrible toll on the body. And Sarah, you can see the timeline too. 
to die? Mm -mm. You're okay right now. You haven't seen as much as Yule has, not yet anyway. But that could change, and soon, if we alter the past, you'll see a different future. You can't avoid that vision. The more we change the timeline, the more history changes. And the more you see, the sooner the visions will destroy you. I know that I wasn't able to protect Yule, but try as I may, I can't remember what happened to her. It's like the memories of that moment have been erased from my mind, leaving an empty page. If only I'd known the truth earlier. I understand, Noel. But it doesn't matter. I've already made my decision, and we're going to change the future. But Sarah... Lightning sent me a message from Valhalla asking me to do just that. So let's change the future. Together. If we hurry, we just might do it in time. Then I wouldn't have to have any more visions. I'm going to believe that I get to Valhalla. What else can I do? Which means this conversation is now over. Okay. I'm going to make sure you get there. 